Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. All right, the workout today is going to be an hourglass workout. So, building shoulders, building glutes to give us that little shape <laughs> of an hourglass. All right, you're going to require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. Your format is going to be time. We'll do the 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. I will throw in a little active rest in there as well. Get the heart rate up, burn some calories. All right, I'm ready to move daily. It's you. Let's go. functional strength or strength on your watch. That's going to be the majority of the work today is muscular strength. Well, not muscular strength, but muscles. Focus on that, not just cardio. Okay. All right. Let's go up and over here. arm circles both sides big stretch there good switch directions okay feet shoulder width we'll squat reach there we go walking hip opener so just take a step walk it open step walk it open keep going really trying to extend that hip all the way out to the side okay I really want to increase my hip health because are tight these days so can't have that all right we're going to take it down to the ground if you can't get all the way down just get down as low as you can I'm just gonna camp up right here for a second great hip warm-up just all the glutes that we're gonna be doing you definitely need that you can push against your knees here all right, I'm gonna keep my hands on my feet, stand and squat for eight. Oh, this one always burns. Good, last one here. And round up. Let's hinge forward at the waist, touch your toe. You can reach the other arm up to the ceiling, give yourself a nice little increase Stretch the chest and shoulder. All right, and let's take it to the final side to side lunge here. Just give me a stationary lunge, okay? Watch the clock and switch it halfway. All right, shoulders back. Nice walking lunge, here we go. So drop it low, push straight up. There's a benefit to doing a walking lunge versus a stationary lunge. You have to really 
work through the momentum. Okay, so it's something different for sure. Fifteens right off the hop were heavy. down. I'm going to move into a military press single double. I think I'll just go with eights to start. All right, hold it here. Single, single, double press. Here we go. Single, single, double there. stance if you need to support your back.
All right, tiptoe squat back to my 15s. I'll call half on the toe. All right, nice wide stance. frog, two jacks right there, modify here, all right, here we go, frog, jack, jack, frog. All 
right, let's go into a sprinter hop for your cardio. So, step back, reach back to the ground, step hop, or just step high knee. Here we go, off the half. can't touch the ground, you're just reaching your hand down without touching. Okay, you need to have good flexibility to touch. All right, switch legs. Next section, we're gonna start on the ground for glutes. Okay, I've got two stable dumbbells at the end. I got my feet on there. If you don't have anything to elevate your feet on, just do it from the ground. I'll put a 30 on my pelvis for a glute pulse, and then we're gonna do single leg pulses, and then I'll use a 20 on my pelvis for that. All right, here we go. All right, so double to start. Nice and close to those dumbbells. Grab my 30 on my pelvis. Feet are up on the dumbbells, pulse at the top. Okay, hold that dumbbell well. Here we go. So you're up, pulse, and down, up, and down. Good. You'll find the best spot sort of eventually for that dumbbell. Now, if you only have light dumbbells, you could hold two dumbbells, just one in each hand, sort of resting them on your legs. That is something I've done before. All right, this is adding up already with the 30 though, and a little elevation. Squeeze at the top, remember, up, squeeze, and down. Up, squeeze, and down. The biggest part of the work is the activation on this guy. Put down the heavy weight, grab your lighter weight, one leg at a time, I'll call half. Okay, get nice and close. Foot up in the air, here we go. So, you're up and down, up and down. Good, that's fun. Oh, hamstring too, hey? Definitely that glute ham tie-in on your working leg. No doubt about that. Almost there, three, two, switch legs, here we go, and up, up, very good. We're gonna stand for a full range of motion front raise, I'll grab my eights for that. All right, very good. Take your time if you feel dizzy from being upside down. Okay, don't rush. Don't want you to fall over. Okay, eight. Palms facing the leg. All the way to the ceiling. These are soft. All the way up. I go slow. Two, three, four. All the way up. Slow. Stick your chest out. Up. Cardio for modified twist, twist, squat. Otherwise, we'll jump it. Okay. Fun little move. Elbows up and work.
pulse at the top. I've got my 30. Two 15s at work here too. All right, pulse ready. Here we go. And up, pulse and squeeze. Drop it low. Up, pulse and squeeze. See, that's a burner with a 30. Especially the squeezing, you really feel that, don't you? Okay, keep them stable. Let your shoulders do the work. Slow, 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 slow. Cardio. All right, two knees, two squat jumps. Boom, boom. One, two pulse if you're modifying. Okay, ready? And one, two. Pause at the top there. Excellent. Single. Foot to the ceiling. 
ceiling. And work. Ready, up and down. Up and down. All right, last year, switch your leg and press. that more inner, sorry, glute, not delt, that inner gluteus muscle. This is too light, I'll do 20 next time. Great, grab fives or eights. You're gonna do a lateral raise with a pulse at the top. I'm gonna just start with fives. If you bend your arms slightly, you'll be able to lift more, but straight arms for me here. Up here, there. Up. So I'm bringing my legs to my thighs here. Okay, I'm not gonna bring them in front because that's gonna give me the advantage of using momentum. Don't want that. Deadlift 
alternating front lunge combo. Okay, so whatever you can deadlift. Actually, probably whatever you can front lunge. That'll be the harder of the two. Alternating legs. Deadlift here, front lunge here. Switch sides now. Deadlift and lunge and fall to death. That's a great way to gauge whether you're popping those hips back far enough and your back is flat enough. Stand foot away from the wall and hit this. Nice. All right, cardio. 
Woo. We're gonna just do a climb the ladder. Okay, high knees with your arms, that's your mod. Let's work. Shoulders. Yeah, I think I'll go back to my thighs just so I don't hurt myself. Work. I'm getting this arm worked on this next week. Well, next three weeks, so it's either going to be more sore. And I won't be able to do it, so you're gonna get a lot of leg days, <laughs> or it's gonna feel better. Let's see. Last year. Last second. 
So we're gonna start with a reverse lunge kick. Let's start with 12, just wanna see how this feels. All right, you're gonna stay on the same leg, I'll call half, then we'll switch to burn up that glute. Shoulders back, reverse lunge, and take it low, kick it here. Sorry, just too close to the wall. And drop. Now, if this hurts your lower back, you can always hold the weights up here. Sometimes that helps a little bit. Okay, of course you can eliminate weights if you want. Or if you have tennis elbow, you're up here as well. Switch sides. All right, these 12s feel good. I'm gonna stick with them, I think. Do a high pull W, so it's gonna be whatever you can W. So you're up into W hold. Here we go. Take it up, down, pause right there. Shoulders back, dip your chest out. A little rear delts here, of course, which is great. In the reflection and see if you're doing that W shape. Check yourself out. And pause. You know what? I don't think I could do much more for my rear delts. The front row would be easy, but let's go into our single dumbbell deadlift. We've got a 25 super wide stance. Reach your hips back. All right. Reach, pause. Drag and squeeze. I think I mentioned this before, but the, the squeeze of the glute is more beneficial when you're under the weight and you have to push against gravity. But it still does help you to put your mind in the muscle here. Especially when you're out in this position, you're thinking of the knees externally rotating. That's gonna activate the glutes but your toes are facing forward, okay? And pull. Reach, pause, and pull. Good, all right, let's go for a little ice skater giant hop. So you'll skate, high knee to mod. You guys will jump it up, just for fun, here we go. tension on the one side of the glute. <clears throat> Last here, switch. Okay. 
front row, W, eight three. Hip high, core engaged. And even your eccentric phase, the down right here, slow controlled. shoulder blades. Okay. Good. Single dumbbell deadlift. Uh, where's my 20? Is that you? Is that you? 25, I guess I was using. All right, wide stance. Feet for low impact. <laughs> oh, how do you do that? Low impact. Here we go. Nice and quick. Switch legs. That was not too bad. Shoulders. Eights for me here. Sweaty. Good. Here we go. W here. Here. All right, let's finish off 
for our last cardio. We've got one more deadlift. 25 for me. Wide stance and work. butterfly you're gonna bring yourself in here and then you're gonna extend your legs and take a stretch here we'll alternate that about five times okay here we go <laughs> my lower back's a bit sore I don't know why well maybe I do remember that cardio Tabata we did so many burpees <laughs> at the time it felt good oh, a couple days later my sad it's like hello did you forget I lived here as well Anyway, this actually feels really good. Let's do two more there. Good. And stretch it out. Oh, that feels amazing. Good. Let's just go into a hamstring stretch right here. How are the goals going, everyone? I challenged my members recently to think about something that they wanted to set for themselves between now and the new year. Just because it's November and it's a dull month does not mean that we shouldn't be thinking about progressing forward in our fitness, wellness, or nutrition. So often we save that for, we save that for January, New Year's resolution, we save it for September, it's back to school, and often in April, March, April. Oh, I haven't exercised, I need to get back on the wagon because summer's coming. But I'm encouraging you to think, break it down into more like micro processes, small habits that you can begin to integrate into your life that are going to make you feel better, that are going to move you along toward your target. And if you can break them down into very succinct steps, okay, on Monday, in order to you know lose five pounds by January 1st, what am I gonna to have to do on Monday? Like you wanna to begin to reverse engineer the steps and the processes that it's gonna to take to get to that goal. And then every day, if you're a list person or a task-oriented person, you check off, you check it off. You, you look at your list the night before, you make sure that you have everything all set for yourself so that you can reach those goals. I think so often we just talk about it, goals that we want and we just don't have a plan on how to get there. And so we're like this, mindlessly, aimlessly wandering and never really reaching the target. So I think having a vision, having a goal, and then reverse engineering that goal through micro processes and steps that you can do every single day to get you there is a great plan. Um, and it could be something really small, right? Maybe like you're saying, all I wanna do by January 1st is ensure that I get four, 
glasses of water in a day. I don't drink water normally. It's been hard for me. So maybe for the first two weeks, I'm just going to challenge myself to drink one. <laughs> like I know I'm really making it simplistic, but, but maybe that's where you're at. You know, maybe even in terms of exercise, you're like, okay, I want to be, you know, a person who exercises regularly, but I've always fallen off the wagon. So what am I going to have to do in the month of November, how am I going to reverse engineer it to become that person by January 1st? Maybe I make a, a calendar and I have my workouts all listed out on them. You think ahead, you write them ahead so that you know what you're doing. Um, maybe you enlist a friend who's going to work out with you to help keep you accountable. Maybe you buy a journal and you decide that you're going to every day write in that journal what your day's workouts were. Maybe you decide to write your workouts on a calendar, but instead of over committing and then not succeeding, you say, you know what, I'm going to do something with 90 to 100% accuracy and what that is, is maybe only work out three times a week. Yep, I can commit to that. So choosing things that you can do for the long haul and that you can succeed at and feel like you've hit a home run, that's really, really important. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, I'd love to hear what your goals are as well. I know I talked about that last week, but just reminding you to get on those tasks, reverse engineer your life, and you can be a different person by January 1st. All right, thanks for joining. If you like this workout, please make sure that you're subscribed. Turn on the bell notifications to be notified. It's a little bell just down in the corner there. Um, you'll get an email to let you know when the next workout is out. And there's some workouts for tomorrow. See ya in the next workout. Thank you.